Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to create email filters within your webmail interface. So what are email filters for? Email filters basically allow you to take a message that's coming in and either move it to a particular place or take action upon it so you can either discard it or again you can move it to another location or forward it to a different address. So first you'll need to log into webmail. This is what I'm going to do right here. When you log into webmail, you'll f you'll first see the option to choose your default webmail application. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a drop down arrow next to your email account name. And then if you click on that, you'll see the option called email filters. Here in order to create filters, you need to click on create a new filter. and you can give the filter a name. After you give the filter a name, you can go down to the rules, and here you can click on the first option, which is what you're going to make the rule based on. So in the beginning, it's set to from. You can also make it look at the subject, to field, the reply field, the body, any header, any recipient, and so on and so forth, as you can see here. I'm going to leave it at from. and the next condition for the rule is going to be contained. So basically what you're saying is that the from field will contain and then what you type in here is what the from rule will, will contain. So you can actually make it um, an email address or part of an email address so that anything that matches that rule will go to the action. Which here if you say that you see spam in the from address, then you can discard that message. If you don't want to see a particular email from some person, you can also do that as well. And again, you can make it so that you can discard the message. If you want to change the action, you would click on the drop down arrow here, and you can change that action to redirect to a different email, you can fail it, you can process rules, or you can deliver it to a particular folder. Once you have the rule set, you can either add another rule by going to the plus sign over here. You can also add another action, again by going to the plus sign. And then once you've finished all of that, you can click on create. It'll tell you it's created a rule for you. And you can close that. And now any emails that come in will be going through that rule. If I go back, I'll see the rule that I've created, uh, rule number one. And if I don't want that rule any further, I can delete it. Or if I want to edit it, I can click on edit to go back and change the rule. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave a few comments so that we can know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.